Hey, this is Jean with CANJ Farm. We're an educational retail herb, egg, and music farm right here in beautiful Matthews County. And it is beautiful here. <laughs> We're having a lovely day after a day of rain yesterday. Uh, Thursdays are usually our big work day for volunteers and workers, and uh, but it rained really bad. So um, I just did a lot of computer work and we had our work day today. So we're actually here working. And I just wanted to share uh, a quick farm share um, before the evening. We're uh, actually finishing up our day and getting ready for karaoke and open mic here tonight. So we always got something going on down here, but uh, it's all good. Anyway, I thought I'd, I'd show you around a little bit. We've actually been working a lot today um, on lots of areas. Look, back there's weeded back behind that, uh, that big trough where we're growing lettuces and stuff. Uh, it was all overgrown. We've actually been having a hard time keeping up lately. Just, you know, it's so much rain, so much bad weather but the place is looking pretty good. I remember last week the mower broke. I'm like, oh my gosh, talk about being resilient. Yeah, you know, you just got to keep on going on, you know, and, and look, we just planted citronella around the drum circle area. We got three of them, so which should help repel the mosquitoes. So if you come to the drum circle, help us by running around and, and, and you know, squinching on them. You know, you gotta squeeze on them and, and kind of mess them up a little bit to have them release their their mosquito fighting capabilities. Out there we got Megan, she's, she's weeding and uh, she's pulling up a lot of the creeping Charlie, which is ground ivy. Uh, I'm gonna make a tincture from that because that's actually a mild antibiotic. Now that's ground ivy, not English ivy. English ivy is poisonous. But creeping Charlie, the one that all of you have in your beds is actually very medicinal. Um, so anyway, she's doing that and weeding and we've been working around front and We've been busy planting and veggies and getting getting things growing and getting caught up. I'm, I feel like we're so behind this summer. Do you feel that way? I, I know I do. And But, you know, we got to lighten up on ourselves. We do the best we can, don't we? We had some visitors earlier, and that was wonderful. The little boy says he wants to come back later and work here. <laughs> so I said, well, check back with me, you know. Look at this lavender. Isn't it gorgeous? You know, lavender to me seemed like it bloomed a little early this year. Um, anyway, I was busy and I think I've missed harvesting most of our lavender, which I've got a big lavender bed in the back there. So that makes me a little sad, but, um, but it is what it is. You know, we actually, it's actually kind of really, really different here now. Um, used to be a few years ago we, we didn't really grow and harvest and process our own herbs that we sold as teas but now we do we've got mature herb beds so we're actually growing a lot of the herbs that that we then dry and process and put in jars and that and that we make tea blends for our visitors to the farm and that is so wonderful but that creates a whole nother thing of work it's like all the month of may and june and um and then beyond really is like okay you see something that's ready you gotta harvest it gotta harvest it then you know so we're still working on the mullen which is um oh i'm forgot they facing me <laughs> we're still working on the mullen over there past you can still see this a lot of it blooming back there it's all starting to bloom again past past ca's car but anyway, it's all good. You know, we've all got our stresses, that's for sure. But uh, what a nice stress to have that at an herb farm that we have the stress of processing our herbs. It's wonderful. I actually spent all day Sunday working up here uh, clearing this area. This is our front area. And it was kind of a mess. A lot of those uh, laurels were growing over the fence and it was just a big mess. And um, it was all weedy around the flagpole. I took care of that and it's just nice to get kind of clean up you know and you know this is it we just had the summer solstice and that's kind of a time to kind of rethink refocus kind of clean out you know think things out maybe change make some changes this whole side here was covered with wisteria you couldn't even see that picnic table and I took it out I was like okay I'm ready for a change plus it'll make it a lot less mosquito-y and so I actually worked on something, spent a lot of time this last weekend just working on this front area, which is a beautiful little courtyard garden. See, so he says, welcome to our porch. You go through this arbor and you've got our courtyard garden.
Look at all that lovely lemon balm. Oh, it's time to harvest that too. I need to process that. Now, I wanted to point out something really quick. This is beautiful, but this is actually false Solomon seal. This is not the medicinal Solomon seal. I actually bought it and this decorative St. John's wort at the same time when I first got into herbs. Okay, these are not the medicinal versions. These are the decorative versions of these plants. I did not know that when I was a new herbalist, and uh, but they're still pretty. They bloom, and um, and I would not rip them out. But I do encourage you to always know your species. So um, when when you look up St. John's Wort, you know look up the medicinal one and know that when you go to the nursery and look up the medicinal Solomon Seal. Uh, you know that when you go to the nursery. That'll just help you have all medicinals. The big plant in the middle there is a witch hazel. And then I've got golden seal in this bed and trillium. And, and Virginia bluebells too are usually in that corner. All those have kind of gone down now. But anyway, we also, we took down an old fig tree that was there that really wasn't bearing figs anymore. We took it down and that just opened up that whole area. So now you can see out into the into the, the labyrinth and the meditation areas. We really love it. If you come up here, we've got our fountain. And you come up here and I've actually had people use this for meetings. Like a little outside living room here. Then we've got this table here. CA's been out here air frying. I think he was air frying a hamburger for lunch. But we got a table that seats about, about 10 or 12, and then we got the outside area too, you just saw. And we sell our, la our uh, aloe up here. So anyway, we've got a lot of little meeting areas here and uh, that make it nice. You can come have a meeting here or on the big back deck or our indoor. And uh, it just makes it nice to have options. And then, you know, yeah, you can always meet in the hoop house or wherever, but you know, one thing I like about this area, this is our area we relax in. And CA and I actually came up here after I cleaned it up this weekend and we were sitting here. And be sure that your whole property is not just work. Make sure you create a nice place that you can just relax. Anyway, we are busy here at the farm, but everything's going good. We've been dealing with uh, snakes eating chicks and, uh, and dogs chasing down and eating rabbits and uh, all kinds of things, but <sighs> resilience. <laughs> resilience at a farm, resilience in your business. You just gotta keep going and keep smiling and move forward. Anyway, that's, this is our farm share for the week and the theme is resilience. And uh, have some joy too. Be well, I'll see you next week.